The iPhone 14 is the worst iPhone Apple has ever made, and here's why. The first reason is that this iPhone, the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus, have the exact same design as the iPhone 13. Granted, you have new colors, you have a larger size, but design-wise, they both look identical. Another reason is the display. Both the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus have a 60 hertz display which in 2022 when you compare it to a lot of android phones that are on the market that cost the same if not less most of them have at least a 90 hertz display for example the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro which are around the same price one has the 90 hertz display another 120 hertz samsung has a plethora of different phones that cost less than the iphone 14 and have 120 hertz apple the least you could have done is given us a 90 hertz display another one is no major spec upgrades this phone still has the a15 bionic chip now of course there's slight upgrades within the chip itself this hasn't been 100 percent confirmed yet but the iphone 14 and 14 plus are also shipping with six gigabytes of ram as opposed to four gigabytes from the iphone 13 so it's going to be a little bit smoother but other than that processor wise performance wise the iPhone 14 and 13 are exactly the same. Another reason is that the iPhone 13 is now cheaper than last year and is bringing pretty much the same features as the 14. Another reason is that the pros are just so much better. Like you've got things like the dynamic island. You have 48 megapixels on the main sensor on the back. You also get upgraded low light performance. You get slimmer bezels. You get stainless steel. You get 120 hertz on the display. You get a better, brighter display. It's just so much better in a lot of different ways. And if you don't really care about getting the latest and greatest you can even opt for an iPhone 13 Pro or even an iPhone 12 Pro, which are both still fantastic phones. And the iPhone 13 Pro has basically the same processor as well. So yes, you're going a year behind, but you're getting a third camera, you're getting 120 hertz, a lot of other features for almost the same price. Another reason to stay away from the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus is that they still have lightning. And in a world where most of our devices charge via USB-C, of course, there still are a couple Apple devices that use lightning like the magic keyboard magic trackpad airpods etc and another reason is that the iphone 15 is going to be better it's going to have things like USB-C. it might even have a higher refresh rate display there have been a few rumors that suggest that the iphone 15 is going to be a better upgrade to jump to from the 13 for example than going from the 13 to the 14 and so if you currently have like an iphone 11 a 12 or even a 13 it might be worth waiting an extra year because those phones are still great. And the fact that the 15 is gonna be a better upgrade is something to look forward to. Now this reason kind of sucks because Apple announced the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus and it looked like the prices weren't going up. But a lot of places around the world, like the UK for example, we've received price hikes of 150 pounds for basically the same phone from last year with a fancy new name and colors and a slightly better camera, in my opinion does not look good and is definitely something you should stay away from. Like if you're in the market for an iPhone right now, please don't buy a 14, go buy a 13 because Apple still sells them for a decent price. And as I said before, you can even get a 13 Pro, which is slightly better, but will cost you almost the same. I literally cannot justify 150 pounds for the same phone from last year. You might as well spend a little extra, get the Pros, or spend a little less and get last year's iPhone 13. Another reason you shouldn't buy the iPhone 14 or 14 Max is that Android has a lot of options a lot of which are better. Now, of course, iPhones have iOS, and if you're really stuck in that ecosystem, if you really want an iPhone, then I can't stop you. But please, whatever you do, go for an iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, or even a 12, 12 Pro Max, that kind of stuff, because on Android, you've got a lot of really good options that cost less. You've got like the Pixel 6 Pro, which is a fantastic smartphone from what I've heard. You've also got options like the Nothing Phone 1, which yes, it doesn't have latest high-end Snapdragon chip, but it's still a pretty decent phone. It still has a lot of the same features you get on the iPhone 13 and 14. You even get things like USB-C and 120 Hertz, which you don't get. And I can stand here and list a lot of different phones, which are better in some ways than the iPhone 14 and cost less. And the last and final reason, why you shouldn't buy an iPhone 14 or 14 Max is that your phone, the one you're probably using to watch this video on, is still fine. Now, of course, you may have like an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 7 
or a Galaxy S9 that's falling apart. But in most cases, your phone is probably still functioning fine and you probably don't need to dish out money to buy a new one. Now, yes, of course, there are people like me who have an iPhone 13 mini who want to have that upgrade, but I'm going with the pros. I'm not going with the standard 14 because I think they're an absolute ripoff. But yeah, your phone's probably fine. You probably can survive until the iPhone 15. Probably don't need an upgrade, but if you really, really, really do need an upgrade, please do not buy the iPhone 14. It's literally, as I've explained throughout this whole video, it's literally almost identical to the iPhone 13. So please buy an iPhone 13 or an iPhone 13 Pro. Do not buy the 14. Thank you. And if you're in the market for an iPad, on the other hand, I made a video about a bunch of reasons why you should buy an iPad, which you can check out by clicking right here. It's a great video, by the way. Um, you've got about 15-ish seconds to go watch it. But before you click on it, Again, I just wanna emphasize, please, please, please do not buy an iPhone 14.